Well, just like the normal female breast is sensitive to the effects of hormones, some breast cancers retain that sensitivity. And we can tell with a fair amount of confidence which breast cancers are likely to be sensitive to the effects of hormones by whether or not the breast cancer cells contain a protein, the estrogen receptor, that is the receptor for estrogen. There's a similar protein as well called the progesterone receptor that, as it sounds, is the receptor for progesterone. And if, a, if breast cancer cells have, have too much of the estrogen receptor or the progesterone receptor, they likely uh, retain the sensitivity to hormonal therapies. There are a wide variety of hormone therapies that can be used. Uh, they can be uh, additive hormone therapies where we actually add hormones into the system. They can be hormone blockers where we block the receptor so that the estrogen can't get to the hormone receptor or therapies that we use to decrease the amount of estrogen uh, or progesterone that's circulating within the woman's body normally. And the, the uh, breast cancers that are likely to be sensitive to those can be treated then with any one of those agents. There are a lot of advantages to that. One is that they, the uh, hormone therapies often control the breast cancer, especially again in women with receptor positive uh, disease. When the, the therapy is effective, it is often effective for very long periods of time. Uh, and it also has uh, minimal toxicity, especially when you compare hormone therapy with chemotherapy.